Welcome back to another tour with the Thackerays. This time we are going to be visiting the majestic castle, Dunnator Castle in Scotland. When we had arrived there was the most mysterious sea fret that added a lot of mystery to the castle. Dunnutter Castle is a dramatic and evocative ruined fortress located in a truly stunning cliff top setting. The castle was the home of the Earls Martial, once one of the most powerful families in the land. William Wallace, Mary Queen of Scots and the Marquess of Montrose and the future King Charles II all graced the castle with their presence. Most famously, it was at Dunnator Castle where a small garrison held out against the might of Oliver Cromwell's army for eight months and saved the Scottish crown jewels, also called the Honours of Scotland from destruction. This was an interesting bit. This is the walk down to the castle. Um, and it's many, many steps, steep in places. It is doable if you take your time. And there is also a bench halfway down, but the scenery is absolutely breathtaking and is actually worth doing it. You can't help but wonder though what it must have been like in years gone by when this path would not have been like this when it would have been quite barren and rugged and quite treacherous actually. Looking at the walk down you can almost imagine that when the forces of uh, Cromwell came down and they had to lay siege to this castle and what they had to go through to try and take it and realise that it took them eight months to get the castle and it was all because they surrendered and which was probably because they ran out of food more than likely. The entrances are so narrow, which would have made it so hard to attack. But in modern day Scotland, these steps can be rather slippy.
This part of the tour is particularly steep and uh, rocky and hilly to get round the uh, remains of the castle. But the view that you see there is amazing and worth getting uh, achy legs for for climbing up. The history of the castle comes from the Keith family. The name comes from the lands in East Lothian, home to Sir Robert Keith, who commanded the cavalry at the Battle of Bannockburn. Robert the Bruce granted his friend lands in Aberdeenshire and created him Great Marshal of Scotland. It was Robert's grandson who built the keep at Dunatar and his descendants were elevated to be Earl's Marshal. The Earl Marshal was one of three great offices of state along with the constable and the steward and had specific responsibility for ceremonial events, the honours of Scotland and for the safety of the King's person within Parliament. The Earls Marshal were amongst the most powerful families in Scotland in the 16th century and it was said that the fourth Earl could ride from John O'Groats to Berwick, eating and sleeping each night in his own estates, but both wealth and title were lost when the 10th Earl Marshal fought with the Jacobites in the Rising of 1715 and was convicted of treason. The late 14th century keep or tower house is the oldest remaining building on the site. Erected by Sir William Keith, it has a stone vaulted basement and originally had three further storeys and a garret, a small loft above. And here is a picture of what it would have looked like back in the day. Guards were posted in this building to watch the seaward approach to the castle. They wouldn't be able to see much if it was like today though.
Today there was a wedding in the restored drawing room and yes, the brides do have to climb up those steps in their wedding dresses. This small, secure area was used to house those convicted of minor offences by the courts held in the castle. Those unfortunate enough to be locked up here were usually only held for a few days and would have no doubt thought twice about offending again. The cistern provided a water supply for the castle's inhabitants which was brewed into ale in the brewery to make it safe to drink. I'm doing a video. Here we are. Hello everyone. Back back at base. <laughs> a different castle. It's, this isn't Glams. <laughs> oh is, no, no, no. This is not Glams. Uh, we'll talk about it later. Let's go for a nice walk to get a different viewpoint.
and utter, you are truly majestic. is a memorial to the First and Second World Wars and apparently has a deliberate, unfinished or ruined look. Thank you for watching.